Good morning, just been chatting away to the lime guy, so he's heading out to start spreading some lime in that big belter of a machine. I've just fed the cattle, I need to head down to Stirling to pick up medicine for these coos that do a round of rotavec injections. Right, I'm at United Auctions. This is a cattle market, but the vet's here as well. So I'll get my medicine. We have medicine. Rattle back home, it's about a half hour drive down here. We'll be in here next month, hopefully buying a bull. So this is a three mil dose and it's intramuscular. This stuff is pretty lethal if you self-inject yourself. It isn't Rotavec, but it's very similar. The vets are finding it much easier getting this product than Rotavec. One of the main things it's protecting against is E. coli. Um, so we'll inject the cows. This will then go around the cow system. It'll enter the colostrum. So when the cows are producing milk for the calves, they produce, it's called colostrum. It's got loads of antibodies um, and really all loads of nutrition for the calf when it's first born. And that's where it picks up all its protection against diseases and whatnot is through the colostrum. So we inject the cows with this one, and this also goes into the colostrum effectively um, and protects them against the coli. When a calf's born, it is really susceptible to disease because it's got no immunity to anything effectively. And then it drinks loads of colostrum, that's what we're trying to do, fill it up, and it gets loads of antibodies through its system, and then it's got protection against a major amount of diseases that it's susceptible to. So that's why we're so hard on making sure they fill up with loads of colostrum first thing. Here's a man with plough metal. A boiler should to go with the plough. Me and Kev each. Kev's got all these fences and gates set up for this to be a bit of a pen. So we're ready to let the cows all out now. And these will all come out. We'll get them into the race there. Go on. Go on in. How'd you get? That's it. On you go. Go on, beast. On you go. Keep moving. Keep moving, oh you bandit. This one's a bit of a bandit. Shh, come on, on you go. She's a bit fiery as well when she's calving, so one to be wary of. They've been flipping hard work today. They're not wanting to go in. Come on, keep moving. Come on. We've pushed one batch all the way across and shut a gate, so now they should all fit in now. That's it, in you go, in you go. Number one, done. Go on in, have a shunt forward. Go on, walk forward. There you go. One red splodge. We're basically trying to mark them based on when they're due. So there's four different batches and I'm marking them slightly differently. Get one injection of this. Kev's got a few stubborn ones to deal with now. Oh, I'll stand out her way. In you go, in you go. Missing tags. Right, we're getting through them. You can see they've all got kind of polka dot dots all over them. There's a bit of a, a colour code. These are the splits of calving dates. One yellow for that date, one red for that date, two yellows for that date, two reds for that date. Shouldn't have gone for yellow, it's a rubbish colour to put on cattle, it doesn't show up that well. There's a stubborn beast just coming in now. Had one single in there that wouldn't play ball, wouldn't come down here. Anyway, we managed to inject her and spare her up there. Oh, 
try and get through the hole that's already there. Oh, play ball, play ball. God damn it. There you go, that's you. That's better. 712, where is she? Seven, there you go, 712, blue, so that's two red. She's a bit on the fat side. Play injection, jobs are good in. There you go, beast. They're getting a three mil dose of this. So you just set the gun to three mil. Jobs are good in. It's really handy, this gun. Got it. Got a couple of stubborn ones. We got her. She's stubborn and she's a wee bit fiery at calving time, I know that. We're on to the final two coups. Right, they're all done. You'll see they've all got kind of polka dot colours on them now. There's two in here that were missing tags and I've missed them, so we're just looking for them just now. Somewhere in here. This was the last one to get done. Those are the two that are missing tags, so we've got the tags here for them. The rest can all fire back in. And you go. <laughs> all done. Looks like it's blood, but it's paint. Come on in. I've said it before, but this race was built in, I think, 1960 something. £800 it cost for all of this. There was a, an old style crush in there. We cut it out and got rid of it last year. Eight hundred pounds. You wouldn't buy a gate for eight hundred pound almost now. You silly mutt. Sit. Lie down. Good boy. Now I know that all these collets are all in the right place, they're bang on, I can fully weld them, so start welding all around all these seams, then that side, flip it 180, then the other side. Although I've not got too much gas left, so we'll see how far we get. Here comes some dodgy welding. Wait, hold on. The safety and welding inspector, he can't see me. <sighs> Guaranteed good weld now, because Stevie's watching. got a new tip but I don't have um, any new what do you call them cups shields whatever it's called ran out of wire, the gas, there's a tiny bit of gas left, so while I'm going in to get wire, I'm just gonna top up the gas or get a new bottle. 
the collars started here. This is probably a f f 6 out of 10. Number 2 was quite good. Give that a 7 out of 10. Number 3, yeah, 7 out of 10. Number 4 is not finished because I ran out of wear. But it was going to be a 7 out of 10 as well. Good enough. That's what we say, eh, Stevie? Eh? Yeah, good enough. I've got three and a half done of 17 times 34. I've got three and a half done of 34. Cracking. Hardly anything. Yep, we're going to get ploughing tomorrow as well, so we'll get that new plough going, which we'll just have to use our own stone, our old stone grape with the barrels of water on the front for to give it enough weight. Go and click subscribe if you're not ready. Down there, click subscribe. We're shooting for 13,000 subscribers. If you've not done it, would we much appreciate it. And like the video. Adios.